How much do you need to do? Well, I think the answer is you should do as much as you can comfortably do and as much as you can work into your, your, your routine. Wow. Certainly, the, there's no disadvantage to doing a lot of exercise if you have the time and you're in physically good shape. People with diabetes who have complications, for example, people who might have neuropathy that affects the sensation in their feet, or who have vascular disease so they are, have vascular insufficiency to their legs or to their heart, uh, they need to work with their doctors to find the right exercise regimen. They shouldn't just assume that they can do everything uh, without you know, some medical supervision. On the other hand, uh, people who are uh, healthy, who may have diabetes, but have no, none of the complications and who have no other uh, reason not to exercise, uh, they should try to do as much as they possibly can, and any kind of exercise is really good. Finally, we should remember that for people with diabetes or with people at risk for diabetes, sometimes even very simple things count as exercise. For a lot of people, just walking briskly is a good exercise, especially as you get older or people who are overweight who can't do uh, more vigorous kinds of exercise like sports. Just simply getting out and walking 30 minutes a day can make a huge difference.